hello and welcome to the channel in tonight's video i'm trying not to catch the patio on fire i just lit my little mosquito torches because you can't be outside no more than a second and i've been out here watering just a few things on the porch because i'm taking it easy i'm supposed to be taking it easy but i have some things i want to bring to you guys and i lit my torches so let me hurry up so that we don't set anything on fire <laughs> Let's get into it. There is one of my torches. And I do apologize if you can hear my neighbor cutting his grass, his or her grass. I've been out here for just a few minutes watering everything on the porch, all of my pots, as you see. And now all of a sudden, they want to cut their grass. So it might be a little bit noisy. I do apologize. There is one of the other torches that I have. I have about six of them. Two over here. Actually, no. I've got eight. I've got two over here, two over by the patio table, two over by the fire pit, and I've got two on the front porch. So I finally decided to go ahead and light these puppies up because I am really tired of the mosquito. Now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, I've been to a couple of stores over the past couple of days and I even received some stuff in the mail that I purchased back in July and these are some things that are going to be going into my fall garden and I want to show you what they are so let's get into it last year I saw some crocuses that were of a fall color I do have crocus in the garden I hope they're still there I hope they didn't rot uh, they're in some pots on the patio and they did come up in the spring but they're that purpley, blue, yellowy, white crocus color. Um, I bought the crocuses initially because crocuses are usually the first flowers to come up in spring. You, you see them up under snow. And when I was in Europe, uh, my spouse and I would go walking early in the morning and there would be snow on the ground in the winter, in the early, early, or, or the late, late, late winter and almost springtime. And so I bought them because they just reminded me of our, our walks in, um, in that time period of our lives. And so I found some last year and I thought, oh, I would love to have those. Those are unique looking. So I went to Lowe's earlier today because I was looking for some, some more flower seeds because I was very low. And I'll show you those in a minute. But I purchased some of these fall color crocuses now i do not have my reading glasses on y'all already know but i want to say it says orange monarch orange monarch and i think you get there's 15 in here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place these probably in the tire garden and maybe a few in the memorial garden and the cut flower garden We'll see. I have 15 of them, so I can spread them out a little bit. They will naturalize and um, reproduce, so I will have them if they if they grow. Um, they'll reproduce in the areas that I put them, so it's not like just set it and forget it. They will continue to grow. So that's the crocus. I used to have these alliums in the garden. There are 20 of these. They used to be in a pot, but I've been moving things around and shifting things here, there, and everywhere. And I had these in the North Texas garden. They were in the garden the first year here. And I believe they were in the uh, cut flower garden. And I, I don't recall seeing them last, last spring. So I bought some more. There are 20 of these. So I'll be putting these in the cut flower garden. And the memorial garden and spreading them out because i love the look of alliums they are so incredibly beautiful and i didn't get a lot of stuff at the store I, I was not trying to acquire a lot of stuff now these are larger alliums they're white and purple i really wish they would distinguish the white ones i do have some white ones already in the white area i don't know whether or not they're still there if they're in the container or if they've right of the way i would have to wait until spring um because i don't know but i did put some white ones in there so what i plan to do is put these in the memorial garden as well as the cut flower garden and if they're white 
I'm going to just put a little tag around them, dig those up, and move them into my white garden because I do want white in those areas. Or, or, here's another good idea. I could put the white ones in the front. I've got a white, I've got a white garden in the front of the house, and I, I might put these up there, but I've got purple. I may change my mind and, and throw a splash of purple up in the white garden too because I don't know which ones these are. And I do want alliums in my garden. So did I say there are, eight, there are 18 of these? And these bulbs are massive compared to the other ones that I showed you. The other ones are very, very small. But these are another large allium. I really love alliums in the garden. I know I've already said that, but I had to say it again. So that's what I picked up at Lowe's. That's not why I went to Lowe's, but I saw they had them out. So I thought, let me just go ahead and get them. So I don't plan on going back to Lowe's anytime soon. I pretty much have what I need. Um, I ran out of tarragon. So I'm going to put some more tarragon in the um, herb. What's that thing over there, y'all? Green stalk. <laughs> Squirrel brain. I'm going to put some some more herbs in my herbal green stalk. So I realized I didn't have any um, tarragon. And so I'm going to place some of these over there probably before I go to bed. So, well, before I go in the house. So that's that. So matter of fact, I'm going to put these over here because that's what I want to put in the garden today. I've already used all the packets of pansies that I had. I had some Swiss giant pansies from Lowe's and from another... Um, seed company and I've been putting little pansies everywhere and I've noticed a few of my pots I don't see any any flowers coming up and so I probably will sow a few more pansies in those pots um, or I may just take a few I've got some growing over there I've got a, an extra amount I may just up pot those and spread them around but I want to have pansies in the fall garden pansies are absolutely beautiful it takes 65 days to bloom so we, what I might just do is go ahead and just sow some seeds and just be done with it, not just take them out of the pot. But anyway, 65 days to bloom. I put these all over the garden, on the patio, in the cut flower garden. I, I hung up some hanging baskets over there. I had one hanging basket uh, that's blue, and I put that in the memorial garden. I need to acquire another one, find one somewhere, and uh, hang it up over there. So I will also be putting some more... Uh, seeds in that one because I don't think I put any pansy seeds in that pot. So I picked up some more pansies, two packets of those from Lowe's. So that's all I got from Lowe's. Let's see. Yeah, that's all I got from Lowe's. So these will be going into the garden before I go into the house today. Now I went to a nursery that's a little ways away from my house and they sell a tremendous amount of botanical interest seeds. Now, I went there for some shallot seeds. The botanical interest has the shallots that I put in the garden. Or I tried to put in the garden, but they, they failed. It's my fault. And so they did not have those seeds in the store. So I'm probably going to have to... Nope, there's one more store I can go to. I'm going to go to one more store, maybe tomorrow, sometime this weekend, because I, I really want those shallot seeds. I'm limiting the amount of seeds that I purchase. I don't need a lot. And so I picked up a few more seeds for this garden, for the fall garden, and for the spring and summer garden. And so I picked up some true Greek oregano. This is going to go in the green stalk as well. I'm trying to get my, um, my herb green stalk going. And a lot of these seeds, a lot of your herbs cannot stand or withstand cold. I do have a frost blanket for my green stalk. They had a sale. I took advantage of that and I bought the frost blankets for the for the green stalk. So yeah. So I'm I'm gonna also be putting this Greek oregano. Oh, the mosquitoes, I think they're trying to bite me, y'all. I feel like something was trying to get me. Oof. I cannot. I cannot with mosquitoes. Um I don't know about you all, but when I'm bitten by a mosquito. It's, it doesn't itch. It burns really bad. And I think I'm, I'm allergic. It, it feels like my arm is on fire. So I have to hurry up. So that's Greek oregano. I also picked up some white swan echinacea. 
This is for the white garden over in the fire pit area as well as my front yard. I want to put some echinacea in some pots up front. Okay, I'm gonna have to hurry this up because I cannot be on fire, y'all. So this white echinacea is gonna go in the front garden. I picked up some key lime pie blend zinnias. They're white and lime green. These are also going to go in the cut flower, I'm sorry, the um, white garden over in the fire pit area, as well as the front yard, because that's my white garden. And I picked up um, a Nicotania. I hope I'm saying that right. It's called Indian Peace Pipe. It's supposed to have a beautiful fragrance. And I'm not familiar with this, so I'm going to have to read up on this one. I just happen to see it, and I like the the long, I don't know if y'all can see, the long flower tube. I was thinking that maybe hummingbirds might be able to take advantage of that. And so I want to put this in the uh, white garden that's in the cut flower. I keep saying cut flower. I do apologize. In the fire pit area, because I noticed that hummingbirds were coming into the garden this spring. They really love my Texas star hibiscus. So I want to put some more hummingbird attracting plants in the back because I do look out the window a lot. And so I want to get uh, hummingbirds into the garden because I do know that they they like to frequent some of the plants that I have so that's that now as I was leaving the uh, nursery I looked on the ground and they had two buckets full of garlic and I picked up I picked up two garlic I'm struggling y'all you have to excuse me um, I cannot be bitten by mosquitoes it is the most unpleasant experience it's it feels like I'm a match was put out on my skin when I'm bit by mosquitoes. So anyway, um, I saw for the first time elephant garlic, and I picked up four bulbs. They were a dollar fifteen a piece, so I only picked up four because I've never grown this before, and I'm not quite sure um, if I will. I like it. I, I think I will. All of my garlic is going to be going in the orchard area, all in those orchard area pots. So four of the elephant garlic. And almost last but not least, I probably need to have those torches closer to me, but I didn't want to set nothing on fire because these mosquitoes. Mm. And I picked up, let's see, two, four, five of the regular garlic. Just do apologize. I'm trying to. Push them away. I picked up five of these. So I've never picked up garlic that was supposed to be for planting. I normally get the, the grocery store garlic, the seed garlic. And so I picked up some seed garlic and we'll see how it goes. Normally my grocery store has this beautiful garlic. Ugh, mosquito. Um, it has a beautiful purple, a purple striping on, on the paper. On the outer paper, it's got beautiful purple striping on that. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to also get some of the bulk bin garlic that has that purple because I have had success growing that. And I also want to just kind of like sprinkle that around um, as a deterrent in the garden. And if it grows and gives me, let's say garden, in the garden, I want to sprinkle that around. Y'all, I'm sorry. I, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm on drugs or something. I'm having a fit because like these mosquitoes are really, really stressing me out. But I want to sprinkle the, the garlic all around the garden. And I'm hoping to get plenty of garlic uh, next year when it's time to harvest. And if it, if it doesn't pop up, if it doesn't give me garlic, hopefully it will just um, deter all the things that garlic deters. And I have one more thing that I want to show you all. So let me take you all over there. And that came in the mail. I ordered this these plants in July. And it came in the mail yesterday. So let me show you what it is. I've been moving things around. Um, I found a strawberry. What is this called? It is a scarlet sage. A scarlet sage. It was in the teepee area where I have the squash and, and um, watermelon. And I did sow some seeds, so it has grown nicely. It was it flowers early in the day, I think, because uh, I did see a little bitty scarlet flower. So I'm hoping that that will stay alive. I'm going to put that in the greenhouse. Uh, but that's not what I bought. And I think this is a, um, I think that is a daisy, uh, Gerber, not Gerber daisy, but a uh, Shasta daisy. I think that's what that is. But this is what I picked up. Excuse me, you guys. I do apologize. Mosquitoes are really stressing me out. I picked up 
three raspberry plants because um, my raspberries died. I haven't been so stressed out about raspberries in a very long time, but I'm very stressed about it. And let's see, this one, I can't see it. I hope I don't drop it down in there. This one is a, can you all see that? A Crimson Night. And now I'm going to get these into the garden probably tomorrow evening. Is this, is, or maybe tomorrow morning it's going to be in the 60s. I can't do it now. This one is very, very, very tiny. I have to be very careful with this one. I don't want it to die. But I think this is the one that I picked up earlier last year. It is the Heritage Raspberry. That's what that is. It's really, really tiny, so I hope it survives. And this one is the, let's see, I can't see it, Double Gold. And the Double Gold is much bigger than the one I got earlier in the year. Double Gold I got earlier in the year looked like this one. So I'm going to leave these on the porch right here. But this is the, the raspberries that I ordered in July. And um, they're going to get in the garden probably in the morning. All right, everybody, that's all I had to show you guys. I feel like I'm having a fit because I do believe I was bitten on this arm by a mosquito. It is really burning. I've got to get in the house. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Give me that thumbs up. Share the video. Leave me a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Now, I've got to go because I'm in pain now. My arm is really killing me. Bye now. See you later. See you in the next video. Bye for now.